Hey guys, it's Art Weston. Tonight I'm going to show you how to use uh, aluminum sleeves instead of a knot and make the argument that you should stop tying knots. Um, the basic premise is that knots inherently uh, create a weakness um, in the line relative to the main line's um, strength. And um, in many cases it can be quite severe, especially um, in, in line like braid and otherwise. Now, the idea with braid wouldn't be using sleeves like I'm gonna describe here, but it would be to use a different type of braid, which is called holocore. I've made other uh, videos on that, uh, whereby you can create a loop and that loop uh, represent 100% strength uh, for connections to lures, hooks, and otherwise. Uh, but for nylon and, and fluorocarbon type of line, monofilament and copolymer, um, the best way to go uh, is to use aluminum sleeves. Now, um, for those that have never used um, sleeves before, um, it might seem you know a bit uh, unpractical uh, or ridiculous or whatever, but they're just these little aluminum sleeves and you have to use a crimper, uh, but it's actually quite easy. And let me just kind of show you with this um, 50 pound line. This is Momai's um, high catch IGFA 50 pound. Um, I've got size um, K, uh, high C's GSK um, aluminum sleeves. Um, anyone that's really interested in trying to pair up your sleeves correctly with your line, just uh, drop me a note and I'll help you out. Um, the other little thing is uh, because aluminum does not damage the line, um, even if you squeeze the crippers basically as hard as you can, um, the s significant force as your line gets stronger and stronger can just pull the line out of the sleeve. So um, for the most part, I would always recommend doing two sleeves. Um, I'd actually increase that to a third if you're going to get to about 80 pound class line um, and then maybe a fourth um, all the way up to 130 pound. Um, but anything 50 and below two is um, plenty. So anyway, you put the two sleeves on your line. Got it. Um, you put your line um, through your lure or your hook. You fish the line um, back through the sleeves. These happen to be... Um, uh, kind of a perfect fit, so sometimes it takes a little bit um, to get them through. Um, you know, I could be, I could use um, a sleeve that's slightly larger, and it would be, you know, a bit easier. But um, I kind of like the um, um, strong connection there. So before I crimp, I'm just going to get that tag in short. Just kind of show you what that looks like. See that? And the loop is nice too for. Um, lures that have a lot of ladder of motion and otherwise, or even hooks for, for bait, um, uh, it's a nice looped um, connection. You can pinch it down if you want um, to get even tighter, but I like a little loop there. I'm using Jinkai's SC2s. Um, these are my favorite crimp uh, tool. Um, and there's two sizes. There's a small and kind of a, a medium. The small is on the bottom towards the handle. And you wanna use the um, smallest one you can for crimps um, and give it a good squeeze. You wanna apply the crimp in the, in the crimper in the middle of the crimp. Again, good squeeze. If you, if you crimp on the ends, um, there's a chance that it could cut into the monofilament. Um, again, aluminum um, is a material that, that tends not to cut um, the line, but it's a good idea just to practice um, applying the pressure in the middle of the sleeve. The other thing just to kind of be careful of is there's a lot of copper and other dark colored sleeves that are um, double barrel and they look really nice and they'll crimp really easily. But the problem with those is those are made for wire. And the aluminum is, um, I'm sorry, the, the copper is much stronger than the aluminum and it'll cut the line inside the crimp and you'll fail at a much lower um, pound um, of, of drag. So you only ever want to use aluminum um, sleeves and you can get 500 for about $10. So um, the sleeves are not expensive at all. Um, so let's put it on the force gauge and see how well this does. This um, particular line um, will test it right around the 50 pound um, uh, mark. It's an IGFA. Um, you know, tested line and my uh, personal tests are about 50 to 51 pounds. 
So I would expect this to uh, break, you know, anywhere between 49 and that 51. Just setting up the bollard here to do the test. Nice tight there. Cut that extra line off, zero the gauge out. All right, so now this one's ready to go. Um, the trick will be is if, if the line breaks above the crimp, um, then it's a main line break, which means um, that represents 100% of the line sample strength. Um, if it breaks at the crimp, right, you could argue the crimp, um, you know, uh, injured the line in some way, um, and that wouldn't represent a 100% break, uh, but I don't expect that to happen. And some might think that it might break at the loop, but breaking at the loop is almost impossible because um, each one of the legs of the loop is shouldering half of the, the burden of the drag, um, which makes them um, incredibly strong um, and almost impossible to break um, at the loop unless it's somehow nicked. Um, that's not the case with knots that have loops because um, those two legs don't um, share the same amount of load just based on how the knots are tied but in crimps, they do. So in all likelihood, um, the line's gonna break um, an inch or two above the sleeves. That means it's a 100% break and we've got success. So then I'll zero this out. Let's see how it goes. Again, the expectation is somewhere around 48 to 51 pounds. My guess is gonna be 49. Not too bad, 49.4. See that? Now the question is, where did it break? I'll get it off the device. And lo and behold, it broke um, above uh, the sleeves. And this was the original tag end that I cut off. So it broke about an inch above, which means that was a mainline break. So this is equivalent to the 100% strength of the line. Um, and you'll get that every time if you do this um, correctly. And so it's hard to argue to do anything but sleeves. If you've got the tools and you've got the crimps and you've got the method and you do it right. Um, you know, I, I think for convenience or other practical reasons, you know, knots can be just fine. But, you know, if you want kind of everything going for you um, and you've got a um, tough line for a reason and you want to get the maximum benefit out of it, you know, start to think about using crimps. Okay, thank you guys.